Our project today is at a, at a stage that's one of the most complex stages in the project. We've coordinated it, concrete's up, the structure's up. So we're at the point where now we're really just getting going, putting all of our MEP work in place. And of all projects, a hospital project is one of the most complex when it comes to putting MEP work in place. So by looking at the helmet today and seeing those scopes in the context of where they were going in, it was really interesting to see what was installed and what's going to be installed tomorrow, from electrical to plumbing to ductwork. What I saw was um, just, I was in awe. It was, it was pretty cool. It, it was uh, surprising how real it was in the same sense of being able to see in the future, right? So instead of just being in the virtual reality world and you're sort of stuck in, in far off land, right? You can actually see the walls, you can walk the job site, you can actually see what's in real life at that present time, look up and you can see the future. This technology will change my job by making it another tool for us to communicate our efforts of modeling and coordination with other people, both installing and quality assurance and quality control aspect of the job. Well, the biggest problem that we run into is just the coordination effort. You know, everybody's trying to get as much components and their equipment into a small, limited space. So anytime that you can bring uh, tools such as the daiquiri helmet to allow you to, to see that stuff would be would be a benefit. I think it's going to help out the MEP immensely simply because the fact is they're going to be able to see a lot of the collisions that are above ceilings and situations that fall within the walls. So I think that's going to help them immensely as far as getting ahead of the program, getting ahead, catch those issues early. It has the potential to answer a lot of the questions and issues that we have. Um, and a lot of that's around digitization, right? So we've digitized all of the information we consume in the field. We've digitized the capturing of information. What we haven't yet done is taken that digital information and put it right in front of the people in the field. So in, in using the helmet today, I think, I think that's where the real potential is. It allows you to see issues that might arise in context of where they're actually going to be installed. I think in the end, um, it'll help us, you know, as a builder to, to head off a lot of those issues that potentially come out on projects. This is just the beginning. I think we're going to see more and more of this stuff. I can see coronation meetings instead of sitting behind a computer, being on a job site with helmets on. I see us using this technology to look in the future, both on the construction side and in the office when we're designing and modeling the components. Yeah, to physically be on out there in the field and put two and two together, it helps out. It gets pretty exciting when you start to think about the IoT boom and having a lot of connected sensors, information on the job site that we don't have today. How is that going to connect into something so that you can see that when you're out in the job site? It's all great in the trailer. Um, we love having information in the trailer, but when you put it in, in the place of work, um, right on the job site, then it holds some true potential.